so it's good. Mm-hmm. So good. During a five years complete business involved in that land once they choose to develop it. Yeah. So the investors have to hope that you would be fair when it comes time to do that and not charge an unfair amount of money, right? That's the that's the idea. Yes. Okay. I mean I have to believe that I'm gonna do what's in the best interest of the fund as I, I have been. I mean that that sounds good, but you personally own it. So I mean, and I'm not saying it's a question of character and integrity, and I'm not saying you don't have it. But what I am saying is that's asking a lot of your investors who didn't necessarily agree to they agreed to let you manage it, but they didn't agree to let you have 32, uh, 27 of these acres. You get what I'm saying? Let's back it up, Joe. Good, fair enough. Go. The land is not land that Treff paid for. So you didn't Treff. buy from Treff? No, I did buy from Treff. Okay. Right. Okay. So I bought from Treff, recapitalizing Treff. Treff got all of its capital plus a profit. So twenty five thousand. And also, can I just? I'm sorry to interrupt. Sure, yeah. Twenty five thousand sounds a little crazy because when we're talking about a development like this, and we're talking about the type of potential income, because you're investing in this land because of the. And I'm not a real estate guy. I'm just a mm-hmm. common sense guy. When you're investing in the land, I'm guessing it's because you understand the potential value as a company, right? So you're investing in this land because you believe deep down that it's going to be worth 10, 20, 30 X over the next, you know, 30 years, 50 years, 100 years, whatever. But now you own control of that. You gave yourself control of that. Now the company hope has to hope that, you know what I'm saying, you do business in the correct way moving forward, right? Let's, let's, again, let's slow okay, down. Fair enough, fair enough. Right. So the fund has the exclusive development rights to the land to benefit from all that upside that you're mentioning. Mm -hmm. What I have done is allowed the fund to benefit from that because this takes time. This is a year Mm -hmm. since that purchase. The fund has paid no carrying cost in that entire year of mortgage, insurance, maintenance, taxes, and won't. So for, okay. for any of the years, there. it sounds a little crazy when we're talking about eleven million dollar fund. We're talking about this much real estate, and it's such a big part of the portfolio. And the people involved didn't have an opportunity to like vote on this, and you are the sole controller of it. And it's like you personally own it. You don't know, like. Am I tripping, y'all? Like, I'm no. the only one that's okay. Just making let's, sure let's, I ain't tripping. Let's, let's talk like, about right, it. Could so, be wrong. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I'm just asking questions that I just think that we because it just seems like if I was you guys. I would be a little frustrated about the fact that this happened and you're saying like, yeah, we so, we control 27 acres. No, we don't. You control the 27 acres. What you do? Because no. if, if you set the price too high, right? And Trev doesn't can't afford it, what happens then? But why would I set the price too high? Why would you give yourself the 27 acres? The 11 million dollar fund can't cover the, the landscape costs? Bro. I can't cover the landscape costs and the mortgage. Like we, we that just, seemed like that was a bad investment. We we I'm sorry. I'm just, I just, I just, no, no, y'all no, being no, really nice to him because no, y'all friends. No, no, and, I'm, no, 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 no. and I like you. You my nigga. No, no, I like you. No, my no, bad. No, you don't use that word here. Yeah, my bad. My bad. You my king. Listen, listen. Iron yeah, sharp yeah, yeah. iron. I'm cool with the iron sharp iron. Cool, cool. Let's go. But you, you, you're taking it out of context. Okay, let me shut up. I'm going to let you talk. All right. You, you can still build up. Okay, great. Right, right. concept. Mm-hmm. So the fund is benefiting, right, mm-hmm. from these development rights from the land. You're saying, oh, but, but you but you control the control the land, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. King, I'm the manager of the fund, mm-hmm. right? I got our fund, all of its capital back based on our capital, but we weren't $11 million fund at this acquisition. Okay, fair enough. Right? Okay. So okay. look at the context. So you easy to throw fair that $11 million out, out there. Enough. I just said we're sub 500000 and must raise capital, right? I just said that. But not at that time. So, Correct. Not, not that time, mm-hmm. but we were not in a capital position to carry this land. Mm. So if I got us all our capital back so we continue to operate and move forward and still got us the land, King, mm. I gave the fund a layup, opportunity for us to also, develop and, and pull this together, King. And also, this is another question, and this is, this is another topic or another, uh, let's change it a little bit. Did he answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, get, I'll take that. I'll take that answer. And I, and it's really not for me. It's for them because I didn't invest. I wish at the time I believed in you, and I and I I, I can't say I do, but I did at the time, and I and it hurt my feelings because I wasn't in a financial place to to invest. Now I, it wouldn't be a thing, but at that time it was. So it kind of hurt my feelings that I couldn't be a part of this. So to see it, you know, become this is it's even like more sad and more heartbreaking. But what I will say is this too. You spoke about your family. You spoke about how you know the taxing you've been brutal and that you know you were trying to protect your family by moving things around. 
And also you are a fund manager and you have fiduciary duty. And you also spoke to the fact that you have a higher level of accountability because of what we've seen in the black community with the churches and other people taking advantage of the, you know, the black dollar. Do you think that looking back in hindsight, that it was foolish to involve any type of personal residence, family business involved with Trump at all? Because now you have to answer these questions and it does let you look bad. It, it makes the fun look incompetent and bad because we're having this, like you say, it's just bad press. Do you think that now that decision was foolish and you shouldn't have involved your personal residence at all with any of the fun stuff? Because I feel like a lot of these people probably would feel better if it was separate. Like I wouldn't want your personal residents involved in our like if it was me our business like that seems like that's creating murky water and now you have to answer these questions and it puts you and the fund in a bad position so do you i mean i'm just asking do you think that was a bad idea looking backwards no okay yeah i, I think i think we have we have we have an opportunity where the fund gains profits about a 13 to 16 percent annualized return with getting all of his capital and still the ability to produce the vision of what we produced without having to bear the operational cost and the burden. Mm. Like these are the facts. I'm not like just making this up. These are the facts. The fund has the opportunity to develop this and we've been working. This is not, we didn't make this up overnight or the last two weeks. This has been a year in progress of pushing for it. Yeah, so you said a better way to do it? Excuse me. I have an eight hundred thousand dollar house for eleven million. I did. Yes. Wait, wait. Yes, I have eleven million. The fund acquired the initial property with my own financing and my own dollars. I restructured the financing for the fund and got the fund and all of this capital back for this property and to keep and maintain the development rights of the property. Mm. And for me to personally maintain the development cost and the carrying cost for us out of my own, King. Also, was there a, a particular reason why the property was split the way it was? Like, you know, that the, the fund got the five acres and you got the what, 26 or something like that? Is there a reason why? Is that is it because of like the parcel or like, I don't know shit about real estate. I mean, anything about real estate. So like, is there a reason why it was split up? Because again, I feel like people would little probably feel a little bit better if it wasn't 26 over here and five over here. I I don't know. You, I, I get the, the, the feelings part. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the facts part. Okay. The fact is that our fund made a return over his capital and got all of his capital back to continue to operate the fund and still with our position a $25,000 profit when we're talking about potential like millions or tens of millions of dollars if your if your development the goes through fund is still participating in brother i you are which, well as well which, I'm, that's, I'm done i'm done i'm good which, I, which I the fund is still, which still participating in okay all right right so upfront money and long-term money with no carrying costs and the refinancing and structuring was brought by not funds of the fund. These are the facts. So, Thank you for your, your, your questions and your, your challenge, Joe. Uh, he, he beat your feet. Um, <laughs> so listen, um, I, I, again, I'm, 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 yes, sir. What you need? Let's get after questions. Thank you. All right. 